What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Bear with me this video guys. I'm not feeling the best but this morning I woke up and I'm searching on the internet every single day for a deal on something and I saw a set of wheels and tires pop up that I'm interested in. They're a set of 20 by 12 hostile wheels on a 35 1250 tire now i saw these pop up for a really good deal and every time i see something that pops up and i want to go buy it i don't hop on it on time and it always sells so right now i'm getting in the car right now my dad's van come i actually have my truck a part because i was planning on doing another mod this week but we're gonna take the van go down there and pick the wheels and tires up so i'll take you guys along with me and we'll go get those picked up all right so we got them picked up here a lot more sidewall on these bad boys here these are a 35 1250 20 on a 20 by 12 wheel uh, i want to change up a little bit like you guys can see these are basically brand new i got them for a really good deal the one has a minor scratching on it so i even got more money off when i got there on top of the deal so it was a really good deal i had to pounce on it uh sorry about the semi idling over there but yeah, we'll get these things home and mount it up. All right, we successfully got the wheels and tires picked up. I ended up actually getting a better deal on them when I got there because the guy said um, that they were in perfect shape. One of them had some like minor scratch and stuff on them like that. And it doesn't always hurt to ask when you're somewhere like, hey, take some more money off. I wasn't anticipating this, blah, blah, blah. The worst they can always say is no. So I ended up getting some more money off them. And they're actually kind of dirty. So I'm going to bring them in my garage right now, wash them all up, get them all cleaned, and we'll throw them on the truck. I'm just going to wash them up real quick because they're kind of dirty. As you can see, there's a lot of brake dust and everything on them. But um, yeah, this one over here, I forget, let me find it. Right here, you can see some of that scuffing. We're gonna work on that, see if we get that cleaned up a bit. This is the wheel cleaner I've been using here for a while now. I've been using it on my specialties and I really like it a lot. So I'm gonna spray all the wheels down real good, get them all cleaned up. Then I'm gonna take some tire cleaner, put them on the tires, get them all cleaned up real nice looking, they'll throw them on the truck. Looking pretty good. They're only 12 wide, so they don't stick out as much, but <clears throat> as you can see, that's a 12 wide on the front of 14. Let me get from the front here. Definitely a lot more poke with the 14s. Lug nuts are taking a beat and they're getting all rusty and stuff as you guys can see, so we're gonna wipe them down real quick before we throw them back on. Just for a comparison, this is how dirty they were. Just wiping them down. I didn't even realize how bad they were getting. Getting there. A little work goes a long way. All right, here's a little comparison for you guys. This is a 24 by 14 on a 305 35R24. 
and this is a 20 by 12 on a 35 12 50 20. Now as you can see, even though this rim's so much bigger, there's a lot more meat on that one. It's a lot taller, as you can see. So we're actually gonna be raising the truck up a little bit by doing this. We got the back tires on. Here's a little comparison of the back tire versus the specialty that is on there. Like, as you can see, like one finger length too is the whole sidewall I had on here. I put my whole hand here for the sidewall. A lot more meat on these ones. I know a lot of you guys aren't a fan of the specialties, but I really fell in love with the style when I put it on. I'm going to run the hostiles for a little bit. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about them yet. They're going to have to grow on me, just mainly because the stance isn't there. But we'll get the front start on now. I swear this happens every time I go to film. But um, we got everything on. We're gonna have plenty of clearance up here from spacing the bumper out. So I'm glad I did that a while ago. So let's fire it up now, turn the wheel and I just make sure everything's good and then we'll take it for a spin. But as, as you can see the poke is basically non-existent. Now it's my hand up against the body from being on 12s. It's crazy how like this truck shrinks 12 wide. They look so small in this thing. So this is the truck out in the sunlight. Let me know what you guys think. All right, I'll show you guys what I did on the fender liner here. When I got the truck brand new, when I got my specialties, I drilled a hole right here, as you can see, put a zip tie through it, tied it forward, and now you're good to go. Keeps it pushed back. Hey, you see we got full crank. Very, very close. Very, very close. If I didn't space the bumper out, it would have been a lot closer, but it doesn't even hit the inner fender liner either, as you can see. So the zip tie trick worked. I don't know if you guys can pick that up or not, but the steering wheel shake, you see how bad shake in my hand is very bad. It wasn't like this with the Nittos. These are Atura tires, but they could not, even though they're used, they may not be balanced properly. I'm not sure. I could dive into that a little bit more. But the road noise too, can't take that. It's so loud. So we're filling them up now at the gas station. The way here, the drive is super bad. And the PSI is supposed to be at 65, but we're only at like 40. So I think it's part of my issue. So we're gonna fill them up here and see if that makes a difference on the ride quality, which is absolutely trash. Yeah, it did absolutely nothing. I don't know if you guys can pick that up or not. How bad that's shaking. Very bad. So they got them filled up to the PSI that they should be at, and it's still shaking pretty bad. Now, let me know down below. These are Atura tires, 35, 12, 50, 20 MTs. Let me know if you guys have any experience with these tires or know anything about them, because they're shaking really bad. My, they're shaking my wheel really bad. All right, that's about it for this video, guys. Let me know what set of wheels and tires you like better. If you like the 24 by 14s on a 305 tire, or if you like the 20 by 12s on a 35 inch tire. Make sure you tap that subscribe button on your way out. Drop me a like down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.